गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम अब्दुल बारी प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस सम ऑफ यू माइट हैव सीन मी ऑन यूडेमी और ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल येस आई हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल हैविंग ए प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इन कंप्यूटर साइंस दैट इज एलगोरिदम्स आई एम हेयर टू शेयर टू स्टोरीज विथ यू वन इज गिविंग यू इनसाइट ऑफ माई जर्नी and next story is giving you the evolution of it industry hope these stories will help you shape your career better to start with the first story as a child i was fortunate enough to get the access to pc at the very early age thanks to my elder brothers who has gifted me a pc when it was not much common in india i used to learn operating pc and play games as well as i learned programming at very early age and in my academics in my technical education i learned few programming languages that are outdated now not in use now like pascal cobol and little bit of c programming so my education has given me just c programming but i did not stop there once i finished my education i had two opportunities one to join as a programmer and the other one to work as a professor in the same institution where i have finished my studies so i opted being a professor out of passion and one more reason i thought professor job will give me ample time and opportunity to upgrade myself and work as a freelance so yes i learned the technologies of those time like visual basic and vc++ oracle and i used to develop miniature application for small businesses and slowly internet started coming in or started spreading so some bundle of technologies are required for developing websites like html css javascript and so on so i learned those technologies and started developing websites so looking at my work i got one opportunity to start a web development company i got a handful of clients so i thought that why not start a web development company and i quit the job of a professor and i started giving web services or web development services and e-commerce services to us based and indian clients this continued for over a decade but one thing i did not quit uh, teaching i was still teaching as a part time i was teaching either academic subjects or i was teaching the technologies then slowly at one time the web development work slowed down the reason is because of the uh, the strong platform like e-commerce platform like amazon ebay so the clients wanted to use these platform for selling their products instead of having their own website so our business was little bit slowed down so we thought of moving on to mobile applications but one of my teacher brought an opportunity for me to work as a gate instructor gate is an ent entrance exam conducted for uh, getting admission into masters degree right you may be knowing it so as a, i found that opportunity as a more better than continuing with my company so that was a better than this so i started a career as a gate instructor so i used to roam around at different places in india different cities in india to, for conducting gate classes i used to teach the subjects like c programming data structures algorithms and dbms by handling so many batches my subject knowledge was more in depth i got the clear subject knowledge and also my presentation skills were more and more refined now at the back of my mind i was having an idea to start my own company so once i came to know about udemy i thought that this is a better platform for publishing organized courses and mentoring the students so yes i started publishing courses on udemy but before doing that i wanted to create a youtube channel for algorithms because i have seen by teaching so many subjects uh, so many students i found that it is one of the difficult subject maybe student face difficulties in this subject and i also used to promise my gate students that i will publish some youtube contents on algorithm so that they can revise the topics so that's how i have uploaded an algorithm uh, playlist and it's very much useful i am glad that my contents are much useful for students across the world and though i have not uploaded any contents in 5 years but still the contents are being consumed daily by many students 
So that's all. I'm standing here as a uh, running uh, e-learning company. Okay, I don't want to be called as a YouTuber, but as a professor. So that's why I introduced myself as a professor. So this was my one, one story. This was my journey. Now from this journey, I can give you some lessons. Like you have seen that I have been switching the job roles, like a professor to web developer, then web developer to uh, gate instructor. Now then again, an on, on, online teacher. So this has happened because I got the different opportunities. I got the opportunity. People found that I am capable of doing it. So they offered me, can you do this? So I said, yes. So what I believe is don't say no to any opportunity. Don't know which opportunity takes you where. And the second thing is, whatever you do, you do it with your heart and give your 100%. So that's what you see in my YouTube channel. Because I was taking gate classes and I was dedicatedly working for it. And the same reflection you can see in the YouTube contents. And one more thing. Most of the time I get a comment in YouTube that you are better than our professors. But that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. See, even I'm a professor. How can a video can be better than me? So your professors are real-time teacher, real-time uh, gurus for you and lifetime gurus for you. So that's all about my first story. Now, let us start the next story. That is evolution of IT industry with a jobs perspective. The reason everybody, because of AI, everybody is feared of losing the job and future jobs. There is no certainty about future jobs. So we cannot predict the future. We don't know how AI is going to affect different areas. But there is a saying that history repeats itself. So if you know past, you can predict future. You can know something about the future. So I want to take you through past so that you can get prepared for the future. So let us start with the story. See, in late 80s, PC started coming in India. So employees working in the offices feared that they may lose the job. PCs may replace them. But company took, bought the PCs and trained their employees to operate those PCs. So they started doing their work more efficiently. Right? Instead of losing the job, now they were working in a different style. So PCs has not took away the job, but it has changed the style of working. And even they gave an opportunity for youngsters to work as a computer operator or a computer programmer. Those were the very early days of CUI. Later on, the GUI type of application started coming in. Windows 95 was launched in Windows 99. That has changed the world. It made the operation of a PC or using of a PC very easy. One can easily access P use PC using a mouse pointer. So it was like a kid's play. So the operation of PC was very much easy. So that has brought the new technologies on GUI platform like Visual Basic, VC++, Oracle, and so many other technologies came in. Now the companies who were using individual PC for doing their office work, now they can use one application, a client server type of application, which will run their entire business. A client server type of technologies were introduced for business applications. So every company wanted to have their own software developed. So the demand for softwares was increased. So many small companies started budding up. And that gave a lot of opportunities, job opportunities for as a computer operator, as a computer programmer, that is software engineer. And even for running this client server applications, we need a hardware. We need the infrastructure, a network of PCs. So again, there was a lot of requirement for network professionals who will set up network and that network engineers and the network administrators jobs openings were also there. Millions of jobs were there across the world. This continued for some time. So you can see that PC has not taken away the job, but it has created a lot of many jobs. Then early 2000, internet started spreading a lot. It has reached the homes. Now companies found that it's a good opportunity that they can reach their customers easily via internet. So everybody wanted to have their website. They wanted their presence in internet. And they want to adopt their uh, new style of doing business that was e-commerce. So the requirement for web development and e-commerce website was at boom. And it was called as a dot-com bubble. And the millions of jobs were created. Millions of websites were created or, or uh, almost in a decade. So many Indian companies have started booming up. 
and now you can say that computer world became an IT industry now. So that work continued for some time. And suddenly, at one stage, it has gone to a saturation point. No more web development required. And the web development becomes too easy. DIY type uh, platforms were available. Do-it-yourself type of platform were available. Anybody can create a website easily. So it became very easy thing. So slowly, web development work uh, slowed down. And dot-com bubble busted. Millions of people lost their jobs in abroad not much in india but in abroad many people lost their jobs and it was called as recession time it was in 2008 then on the other side internet was spreading it was reaching common people also people were using mo internet from mobile phone and the tablet so mobile application development was at the boom but it did not continue at much much longer time now everybody wanted to share their experiences and activities and selfies in internet so this ha so the it, this has started a new trend of social networking so the websites like facebook twitter orkut and google and so many companies they started their social networking platforms providing opportunity to common people to upload their content and people started flooding internet with variety of contents in the form of text images and videos the data in internet was becoming bigger and bigger now, to handle this data, those companies has to expand their infrastructure enormously. Now, today, if you see these companies, the internet companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, all these companies have a number of data centers and each data center is having lacks of self-maintained computers, means they don't require any network engineers. So, this has become a huge infrastructure and it was much stable and robust. Then, in early 2010 or, 2010 or 11, these companies got the idea that this platform is suitable for running business application. So, they offered this infrastructure on rent to other businesses, other companies. And they found it a very attractive offer. They thought that already people are connected in internet. So, our customers are already in internet. Why not have our application also run in internet? So, this has started a new era of cloud computing. Today, what development you see is nothing but the results of cloud computing. And cloud computing, when it came, it promised lacks of jobs. Yes, it promised lacks of jobs. and But it has also taken away the jobs. So what I will show you. See, when these companies wanted to switch from their local infrastructure to cloud, they have to migrate from local infrastructure to cloud. So a lot of migration was done in last decade. So for the, for re, they have to redevelop this application using the latest technologies like full stack. That's why the full stack was at high demand. So the companies were shifting their applications to cloud. Now, they don't need their own infrastructure. They got rid of their uh, this maintenance of this infrastructure. So many network engineers lost their jobs. Millions of jobs were gone. Now, when you say computer, we say hardware and software. So just only software is there. There is no jobs in hardware right now. Hardware or networking jobs are not there. So cloud computing has taken away those jobs, but cloud computing has started new jobs, variety of jobs. It has given a platform to start global businesses like Ola, Uber, Zomato, and Urban Clap, like urban company type of businesses. So even many startups came, they have their own business ideas, and you have seen many youngsters becoming entrepreneurs. So that is because of cloud computing. So we have a lot of opportunities. And also cloud computing has given a new style of working, like you can work from home. And also this Ola over these people have started creating a jobs that is self-employed self, uh, type of jobs. A cab driver or an electrician, he can work on his own comfort. He is not doing a time-bound job. Whenever he wants, he can, he can work. So you can see that it has changed the style of working. Instead of taking away the jobs, it has maybe it has given a new opportunities, but it has changed the style of working. Now, later on, already people are in internet and the companies are also in internet. Why to leave machines? Machines were also connected in internet. So you might have heard of IoT. So IoT has joined various machines also in internet. Now internet has became or cloud has become just like a virtual world where the entire world is connected there. 
and internet is having lots of knowledge, a huge size of knowledge and huge size of knowledge that empowers AI, artificial intelligence, right? So now everybody is feared of AI, don't know what it's going to do. Will it take away the jobs or create the new jobs? Guess what it may be doing. So don't get scared with that one. Be empowered with AI. You have to get empowered with AI. So that's all the evolution of this IT industry. Now from this, I have some lesson. One thing is, you have seen the trends have been changing. So you have to go on adopting the changes, right? You have to go on adopting the changes. And if you will stop at any point, then you are finished. And one more thing, now, for getting a good job in your field, you have to excel in your field. You have to excel in your field. So, that are the two points that I have to say. So, now one more thing. See, recently you have seen that companies were asking for DSA, Data Structures and Algorithm, for CSE students. Actually, they were not asking for just one subject. They were asking for data structures as one subject. And algorithm is not just one subject. Those are the algorithm from various subjects. Algorithms from various subjects. So if you have heard about competitive programming or anything like this, then that actually will force you to learn all other subjects back again. So take your subject seriously. If you are learning your subjects very seriously, then that will build your career better. And most of the students feel that their subjects are outdated from the current trends. No, those subjects give you foundation for understanding or learning any technology that comes in future. Right? So the, your subjects are more and more important than the latest technologies. Latest technologies are just like new brand new cars, newly car, new cars launched in the market. Day to day, you find new cars being launched from various companies. But car driving, you have to learn only once. Right, so that's how your engineering subjects are just learning car driving. You learn car driving, you can drive any car. So that's all is my story here. So thank you.